The very first engineering courses taught at USC were in electrical engineering. The department began with an educational focus, but during the post-war years, with the emergence of the aerospace and defense industries in Southern California, electrical engineering became more important, and the department's emphasis began to change. In the 1960s, the charismatic EE chair and eventual dean of the school, Zorab Kaprilian, shifted to a research focus. I was hired by Zorab Kaprilian who was arguably one of the best things in the school's history. Caprillion thought that he could transform electrical engineering at USC. And he succeeded, and if you look back, that was almost an impossible job to do. Build a department from nothing up to national prominence. And uh, he influenced a lot of top-notch people to come to USC. There was a Cold War and a space race, and with Caprillion's leadership, a team of electrical engineering giants was assembled. Communications, electrophysics, and signal processing all exploded during this period, and the department's scientists would have a lasting impact. EE alumnus Andrew Viterbi, whose Viterbi algorithm would become the theoretical basis for worldwide cellular communications, spent years at JPL helping to launch the first U.S. spacecrafts. He then chose the EE department at USC to do his Ph.D. work. Dr. Viterbi would further enhance the prestige of the school by adding his name to it in 2004. In the late 60s, while USC alumni were exploring outer space, a future alumnus was experiencing China's cultural revolution. His name was Ming She. After the Cultural Revolution, our uh, entire education system was abandoned. I started to work with, with my father to bring the electricity uh, into the village. I saw the powerful transformation. So uh, from that moment, I started to uh, feel I liked getting involved with engineering, especially electrical engineering. During the 1970s, while China was still experiencing tumultuous events, an explosion of research and building was going on at USC. The development of the department's undergraduate and graduate programs attracted high-quality students who would become extraordinary alumni and who would soon leave their mark both on industry and on the Viterbi School. Ming studied at the South China Institute of Technology in Guangzhou. Then my uncle introduced the USC uh, to me. Ming emigrated to the U.S. and entered the USC EE department as a 24-year-old transfer student. He graduated from USC armed not only with a breadth of technical knowledge, but also with the entrepreneurial spirit that is unique to USC. With fellow USC alumni, he went on to found Cogent Systems, an industry leader in biometric identification. Today, Cogent is one of the world's premier providers of automated fingerprint identification systems for law enforcement, government agencies, and commercial applications. The 80s brought a burst of growth and a new dean, EE Systems Chair Leonard Silverman. We were more tied into the aerospace industry than any university. We had to start talking about, well, what's, what's going to replace that? In 1985, Silverman's Photonics Initiative took the department in a new direction. I recommended to the dean that we ought to look at very seriously winning an engineering research center from the National Science Foundation. And in 1996, NSF established the Integrating Media Systems Center as the engineering research center in multimedia and the internet. IMSC became a model research center with a record of longevity. The department also expanded into the exciting areas of nanotechnology, quantum computing, communications, signal processing, and bioengineering. Our job as faculty members is to do basic research, which means the creation of new knowledge. What we're trying to do is to look at new approaches, new ways of building electronic devices, new ways of interconnecting them using light or other means. Throughout the 90s and at the turn of the century, USC electrical engineers continued to build on past achievements. 
the young faculty who are coming in are just blazing trails. I work on developing algorithms and uh, doing performance analysis of protocols for large-scale autonomous wireless sensor networks. I'm basically working on multimedia uh, signal processing. I'm also interested in applying the information technologies to the bioinformatics, biomedical imaging. My research in general is on fast imaging uh, using magnetic resonance. So this is primarily applied in, in our current projects to imaging the heart. I do quantum information processing and it's uh, studying the use of, of microscopic things like atoms and photons and tiny particles to do information processing. Certain problems that are very hard for a conventional computer to solve can be solved efficiently by a quantum computer. I work in an area called parallel computation uh, where we look at doing things faster. We want to do some things very, very fast. High-speed computing is what we try to do. I worry about how to undo distortion that's introduced by a variety of communication channels. The Ming Shea department has people spanning uh, a huge range of uh, expertise. It's very, very interdisciplinary. There are people in cinema collaborating with computer scientists or electrical engineers collaborating with marine biologists. I think this is what our department and our school is uniquely uh, suited to doing. It's not surprising that the Department of Electrical Engineering produced not only deans of engineering, it's produced the people at the very top of the administration. President Sample is an example of the visionary leaders that we have at USC and in the Electrical Engineering Department. Proud of the success of the EE Department and thankful for the start it gave him, Ming She decided to give back. And on October 23, 2006, 100 years after USC offered its first classes in electrical engineering, the Viterbi School named its most distinguished and largest department. Today it's my great pleasure to announce that thanks to his gift of $35 million, USC's Department of Electrical Engineering will become the USC Ming Shia Department of Electrical Engineering. This is the largest naming gift ever received by an American university. The gift will allow an already vibrant department to continue to grow, to attract top-notch students and faculty, and to do the cutting-edge research necessary to fuel this century's technological revolution. Ming Xie is a pioneer in his area, and identification of the department with his name uh, will carry a legacy forward. The Ming Xie name to the Electrical Engineering Department of the Viterbi School. It's an embodiment of the American dream. I'm really honored and surprised for today's events. I felt terrific. This is a great achievement for the School of Engineering. I think it's very fitting that the Electrical Engineering Department should have the name of a very successful entrepreneur who brings credit to the university, to the school, and to our profession. I think I always appreciate that SC gave me the opportunity uh, to go through this education process. In China, people told me that if you spend one day with a teacher, you will be uh, obligated to the teacher for the rest of your life. Ming is essentially reflecting this saying. I think after you build a success, it's one thing you need to come back is to return the, some of the, the, the value uh, back to society. I think the best place to start is uh, USC. I think it's a great gift that uh, Bing Shea gave and it continues in the tradition of great gifts that the School of Engineering has, has had in the last several years. Technology is going to be the driver of the global economy in the 21st century and our distinguished alumni invested in the school because they believe in its future. XC's uh, future is not just bright, it's brilliant. In the global new era, boundaries are dissolved and the Ming Shea Department of Electrical Engineering is putting its unique mark on an unimagined future.